Hello everyone, so today we will create image album app in MIT app inventor. So for it, first you have to go on the Google and you have to search for the MIT app inventor and you have to start your project over there. So after opening it, you can see this is how your page will appear. You have to click on new project and here you have to name it as image album app. After naming it, it the page will be open over here. So after naming it, this is how your screen will appear. So this is your screen one over here. So first on the screen one, you can see on the left side of your screen, there are many options. So first we will take over here. We have to take first table arrangement. So first we will say C for the tables. So let's see it. Go on layout. And you can see the third option table arrangement. So you have to drag it over here and you have to place it. So the next we have to give it three columns. So on the right side of your screen you have to do the changes of three over here. So you will give the column three and rows two. So the next one we will take three check boxes in the table arrangement. So So now you have to add three check boxes. So for it, you will go on user interface and you can see the second option of check boxes. You have to add three check box over here. So we are adding the check boxes. Second one. And the third one. So you can see our three checkboxes have done over here. So the next step, we have to add three images. So let's go for it. We will add three images first. So you can see in the same user interface the fourth uh, fifth option of image so you have to drag three images now you have to upload images you can take any so here you have to choose file so first i'm taking this for the second one upload file again And for the third one also, the same process. Okay. So our file image has been done over here. So we will do the visible, uh, the visible image. We have to do it invisible for the second one also. And for the third one also. So our next step will be, we have to go on screen one and we in the align horizontal, we have to take it to the center. Okay. So let's go for blocks. So here we will do the coding. So first for co coding, we have to go on the checkbox. So here is our checkbox. So what we have to select, we have to select that one checkbox changed so we will take this one first now we have to go on control we have to take the second one so now let's make blocks over here so first we will go on the checkbox one and now here we will click on the sec third one which is checkbox one checked so for it first we have to take here code so we will go on logic and we will take this first and we will insert it here. Now here we have to add one more with um, that is true and it is also in logic block. So we will insert it also. Now see the another we have to set an image visible to true. So we will go on image. Now we will take an image. 
so we will take the image one set image one visible so here we will take it and now no need to go again to the logic just we have to click here right click and you will get duplicate so you can see it has been done now same for the second one we will duplicate it we will change your image to and like this but for the second one we want false you have to just change it and you have to write over here false again you will duplicate it place and you have to change it and for the third one also we will take false over here okay so but we have to change the visit uh, for the second one here we will take checked so let's see where is checked so now it has been done over here so we have to add one more in the else option so we will go on checkbox so first we will go on the image one and over here we have to select set image one visible to false so here we will take set image one so here we will find it Okay, so we will take it and we will place it over here. Here we will take visible and here we have to take false. So we will duplicate the first one and we will add it. So you can see our check uh, coding for the first checkbox is done. And now we will do the coding for our second checkbox. So even we can duplicate the same and we have to just change the values. So for the check, uh, first I have changed the checkbox to, now here we will do it again, here we will change the checkbox to, we will keep the true as it is, here we will take image to, and it's visible to true, for the third, here we will take checkbox 1, and it's checked and false, and here we will change the checkbox to checkbox 3. And we will do the same over here. And for it, we will make here 2. So you can see the second code is also ready over here. Now we will duplicate this again. And we have to change some of the values. Like for the first, we will change and write here checkbox 3. Same to the downside over here. We will change and write checkbox 3 over here. And it's equals to true. And here we will change it image 3. So here is image 3 visible to true. And checkbox 2. Just we have to change some of the values over here. Here we will give it checkbox 1. And for the last one we will take image 3. So you can see our code blocks are ready over here. So you can see on the connect you have to click on AI companion and after clicking on it you have to scan this code in your mobile with MIT app inventor and over there you can see the results. Thank you.